Dogfish Head, Midas Touch. is an ancient ale, 9% alcohol. Let's give it a shot. The label says that it's brewed with honey, grapes, and saffron. This is a fantastic ale. It's got everything that an ale should be. It's got a little bit of that bitterness. It's got a little bit of that bite. And when you take it, there's something heavy and almost loggery about it just by the heaviness. And it, But it's, it's, it's almost like a nice, creamy heaviness if if any of that makes sense there's something thick about this beer but in a good way and you do get that honey note behind it i just recently reviewed the blue moon honey wheat that's a wheat ale this is essentially another ale but this one just has a tweak on it and it does it it does something very nice with it where you know you're drinking a dogfish head dogfish head has that distinct flavor about it it's a very robust pronounced flavor and they they not only did they kind of tone down their their typical IPAs and it's just an it's it's an ale with a great thick honey flavor and I I like it. As far as the the grapes go, there is a slight fruitiness about it, but I mean very very slight. If you really have to pay attention to get the fruitiness behind it, but you kind of there there's a honeycomb on the label and when you take a sip, you kind of you look at the label and you can taste it. it it's it's weird how that connection works but it's a great way it's a great connection and i enjoy it i really do i thoroughly enjoy it it's a nice beer my drinkability on this i would like this during the the warmer months this is a very refreshing beer i think it has something to do with the honey but it's a nice ale it's not extremely heavy it's not overly bitter it's not going to crush your taste buds in the heat and make you want water afterwards it's a nice refreshing beer and i think the honey adds that tone to it that refreshing tone to it i could see drinking three or four of these easily it's there's just something great about the way that they blended the honey the grapes and there, there's there really is it just the ale is itself is is extremely pleasant and refreshing on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give this an eight dogfish head i kind of lean in the opposite direction just because i know that they like their ipas they're 60 minutes they're 90 minutes, whatever they keep doing. And that's their that's their staple. That's what holds the pages together for them. And that's what people flock to. That's what they like. That's what people go to dogfish for. I'm not that customer. I'm I'm not that that consumer. And when I see that dogfish does something like this, and they can they can perfect something that's outside of the IPA realm. It's very satisfying. It really is. It's it's nice. It it's almost there's something gratifying about it, even though I didn't make the product. But when you take a sip of it and you know that you're drinking an, uh, a dogfish, and you you know those people that you you get the dogfish and you recommend it to somebody that's not typically a fan of the IPAs, and they kind of make that face like, I know what you're trying to do, and now I have to take a sip of this. But it's extremely pleasant to know that they can do something like this and really appease somebody that may not be in their center circle of their typical audience. So I really commend you, Dogfish Head. This is nice. So again, that's Dogfish Head, Midas Touch, Ancient Ale, 9% alcohol. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys. If you like that, why don't you head on over to my YouTube channel where I do more beer reviews where I do all the drinking and you do all the listening and judging. I don't know how that's fair, but... You're welcome.